Happy Monday, guys. I just hit recording to my computer, but that's okay, because I'm going to upload it anyways to YouTube, so it's not a big deal. Um, at least I didn't click the little AI button over here. <laughs> I'm sure time change has definitely thrown everybody off just a little bit. Um, like I was telling Jackie, it's getting dark here at like five o'clock. So it is very bizarre right now. It's always an adjustment this time of the year for um, like I'm getting Leah home from school and it's like three, like it's almost four o'clock by the time I get Leah home. So it feels like it's nighttime, not long after. Um, but anyhow, you guys, we have this incredible, incredible referral program. And I'll tell you what, until the 15th where we have like the one customer and Lavelle's very strategic about everything that they do. And it's something that Jackie mentioned as well, you know, kind of setting people up and we'll talk about that here in a few um, later on in the month. But Lavelle's very strategic about any time you see them doing like the promo for the 25 credits um, or you see them doing some kind of promo where they're get people on thrive. You always know some kind of, big customer thing is coming later on in the month. So you definitely want to prepare for that. Something that I have been doing with this referral program um, right now is that any customer that I currently have, I sent out an email to all of them. Um, and then I went ahead and I've been sending out messages one by one. I've also been getting people that you know, were Thrivers long time ago. I've been reaching back out to them, really getting them reintroduced to the Thrive Elite. Um, and I have so sent out many, many, many samples this week. So I've been doing those one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, so I haven't posted as much, honestly, because I haven't had a lot of time. I have been held up in my inbox, um, really having those one-on-one -on -one conversations, helping people um, kind of get their accounts set up because some people chose, they had created promoter accounts many, many years ago, never did anything, and they just really want to be a customer. So we've been working on getting their accounts, and a lot of them were enrolled to me, right? But they did not want a promoter account. They wanted a customer account. And I'm talking about people that were signed up with me in 2017, um, just while touching base with customers, touching base with promoters, and so forth. And actually, the one girl she had reached out to me because she saw a previous upline of mine doing some company and she was just like, Hey, I just want to get your opinion. And actually this girl I took to Thrive Palooza in New Orleans with me, um, in 2018. And I was really trying to get the fire lit, but really she was in a bad relationship. She was burnt out on network marketing at the time. And she just really never kind of caught the fire. Right. But when she reached out to me about this other thing, I mean, I told her the truth of what I knew about it. And I told her, I said, you know, I don't want to hinder you. But if you ever want to get try Thrive again, I know Elite will be your thing just because I know her so well. Um, and I was just like, but, you know, I know that being a promoter wasn't exactly up the alley back then. And maybe it will be again. But hey. Do you want to work? Do you want to try it as a customer and maybe work and start as a customer all over again? Because I know that she's really good at referring. I met her, oh my, 10 years ago on Instagram. She was one of my first promoters on Instagram and she was from Minnesota and I was from West Virginia. And, you know, we really just kind of clicked, right? So, I know Katie Muntz has been talking a lot, if you've paid attention on the Dream Team page, about the kind of posts and things like that to put out there. Um, and there's a lot behind that, you guys. I want to really encourage you to get your face out there more and to share more of your story and kind of like your relatability factors and so forth and why you're thriving and how it's helping you and kind of how it incorporates into your life. You can throw any spin on that. That can be... Um, you know, if a lot of your content is on parenting, how it helps you with that, or, you know, you just kind of fit it in. If you're kind of one of your things should probably be health and wellness in some respect, right? Um, because you, this is part of our journey. Um, for me, that is definitely one of the things that I share. Um, but I also share just kind of like inspiration, motivation, 
Um, I love to share tips and I love to share all kinds of things, but really that's what people have known me for over the years. Um, so just kind of finding a way to put your face out there more is going to be more attractive. And I'll tell you, this has been a huge challenge for me. <laughs> it's I was like always on TikToks and always on reels and always in um, stories and some days are hit for me and some days are just flat misses. And guess what? That's okay. I've been working on batch contenting so that I'll have better preparation on the days that I don't really feel like kind of talking, but like I already have material. So if you've not ever looked into that, I definitely highly recommend it. Sit down on a Saturday or a Sunday, or even on a Monday or Tuesday, if you have a couple hours during the day, get a few things of material done then. Um, a couple reels, a couple TikToks, whatever, if that's what you want to put out, or a couple posts where you're taking some pictures um, of yourself. I promise it'll pay off. Just put it in a little album, put them in a little folder. You can even just do some videos, whatever you want, and then you can combine things together to make them. But that is the stuff that the algorithm is definitely pushing out. Um, people, right? Because people want people. And with the AI stuff right now, I'll just be honest with you guys. I think AI is a great tool. However, I can definitely tell when somebody has wrote what it is and it's an AI post. So I do encourage you, if you utilize the AI, please go through it, read it, make it sound like you. Because <laughs> I totally read some posts this past week that I was just like, that was weird. I just, I felt like a robot. <laughs> I felt like a very big robot. And I was like, you know, first off, I'm not a person, I've got an attention span like this, right? So like, I don't even read big captions ever, which is really ironic because I write really long captions sometimes. And Tim's always like, are you writing a book? And I'm like, I've got so much to say. Um, and I, and I'm very wordy. So I don't know that you could really, you could probably tell if I did like AI every time or something, because I'm very, very wordy with my or, and no, normally it sounds just like I talk, right? So um, anyways, I was just, I really want to encourage you. And then also utilizing hashtags, um, you know, you don't have to use like 10, 20 or whatever, but I will tell you if you utilize hashtags that are more relevant to what content you're pushing out, that is definitely going to help you as well. Um, and don't forget, if you want the interaction, give the interaction because it goes both ways. Um, really hitting up those content creators that are very similar to you with the similar amount of like likes and comments and um, amount of followers and so forth. Those people, just as much as you, are trying to get people to notice who they are, what they're doing, what they're putting out. Um, that is going to help you as well right now make that connection. I have a friend of mine who recently just came back into network marketing who really was doing like coaching and so forth. And then she kind of had retired out of the industry and she just came back. I've known this girl for 13 years or well, 12, 12 years now and or 11 Gosh, I'm, I'm trying to add to my my age here. Um, 11 years, because it was right when I first started network marketing. I started following her. Um, and she's always pushed out such incredible content. And she just got back into the network marketing world. And she was like, I went from posting like not at all for like a year, two years, three years, to posting like 60 times a day. And guess what she's doing? She's growing. Okay. So I think that's a lesson right there. It doesn't matter how long you have been doing this. It's when we slack off on what we're doing and what we're putting out there, right? So like that was like a huge wake up call to me because I just saw this post today and I thought, oh man. Meanwhile, I had 20 million errands I was running and doing and trying to get across town and home and make dinner. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I know what I need to do tomorrow now because I'm definitely not pushing out enough content. And that content, even though I have been following up, even though I did send out emails to every promoter, every customer, um, I have been reaching out one-on-ones. I've been doing a lot of stuff, so by no means have I been slacking, but content-wise, yes, I have. And so I'm like, okay, how do I, what do I need to put out there? How can I put it out there? Because I always want something very real with me is that, I always want it to be very genuine and very real to me because that's just, 
that's what people expect. All right. That's what people know me for. Um, they know I'm either going to put something out that's sarcastic, inspirational, um, or just about my life or about my products, whatever it's going to be. But I wanted to come from a genuine place, not out of a place that's like desperate, I guess you could say. Um, and this time of the year, you're going to have periods of time where you hear absolutely nothing. You're going to talk to people. They're not going to be ready. Um, you guys, that's okay because that's still planting seeds with people. Um, my big thing right now is really pushing this referral program that people can get that person, that one person and every single person that I'm talking to, um, current customers included, I'm really, really like, hey, do you know anybody? And I started with the people that are currently ordering. All right. So the people that are currently ordering, that's where I started. The people that I most recently sampled, um, the people that most recently in the last few months have ordered from me. I've reached out to them, asked them if they knew anybody that may want to detox or because I signed probably six people with detox the month before last. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to see because guess what? Coming up. Right after Christmas, lots of people are going to be ready to detox. Lots of people are going to probably do um, Ultimate Thriver when it comes around and so forth. And it'll be the best prep for that, right? And I even had somebody who had asked me, um, you know, they, they just really kind of wanted to reset. And listen, I was so proud of myself. Tim will tell you. <laughs> so yesterday... I am very hesitant in groups that I am in, especially in groups that I've been part of um, on Facebook to post that I'll send them a sample. Okay. I'm very hesitant of it for the reason of it's against the policies for a lot of groups. It's a lot, a lot of groups are like weird about that. And this girl posted um, about being a new mom, having no energy. And it's like the light bells are going off. Like every single thing Thrive does and helps with, this girl is posting about, well, I just shot my shot. And you know what? I got four samples out because of it off of that post. And I just said, look, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want anybody to remove me. But if you're interested, I have exactly what I think will help you. Um, shoot me a message. Right. And so from that, I got multiple messages and I have a feeling they'll keep on rolling in because a little bit later on, I saw a post very similar to that. And somebody else had commented on it. Um, I wasn't going to like bombard the girl or anything like that. But I do know that I had and I made new friends because of it, because of course, they want samples, I'm going to make sure I'm friends with them, make sure they get their sample, make sure I'm following up with them. And then just kind of make sure that they know that they have my support and so forth, right. So there's a lesson for if you see somebody make a post like it, this, this group is called, hold on, I'll tell you because there's probably something very similar in your area and it's sharing sisterhood. I don't know. I, I got added to it at some point in time over the years and I was like, okay. And then I'm in a couple other groups that are very similar to that. And it's like ladies and like, I don't know if it's like just my area, but it seems like most of them are in my state. And you guys, that's like a good thing because a lot of people have mutual friends right? We have a lot of mutual friends. So they're more likely to accept me and to not, you know, kind of look off, you know, left or right as much like they're not going to hesitate. But also, I didn't come in super forceful with it. I just said, Hey, I know that a lot of people are skeptical. And I'm not trying to like gatekeep here. Like I'm definitely a thriver. And I said it on the post because you know what, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want people to message me or people to ask a thousand questions. Like I'm not gatekeeping. I'm like, nope, it's thrive. And I'm like, and I can help you how to get it for free. I've been getting it for free for seven years. Um, you want to chat? This is what this is for, right? I said, I have samples available. Um, so hit me up. And that's how I kind of said it. I mean, I was just kind of straightforward. I did not post my link. I said, hey, my profile, go to my profile and you'll see my link right there. Um, and when you go to my profile, I just want you guys to know because 
I'm going to share it with you because I use Beacon. I know a lot of people use different things. I'm just going to go to my profile in Instagram because it's easier. But on Facebook, it's kind of like the same. It's right on my page. But I want to show you guys something here. So when you go to my profile, it kind of tells my story. This is when they did the deep dive here. And then it's got like a couple different options. But this right here, you see this is my before and after, okay? This is, this is actually on YouTube, but it's too long. But I'm just going to hit the play button so you can see what it does. Thrive experience and Thrive Elite experience are premium lifestyle plans to help individuals reach Yep, that's all. I'm not going to sit here and play it for you. But it's literally the Thrive Experience video off of YouTube. <laughs> and I just literally took my picture, put it on as the thumbnail, and upload it to my YouTube because I I think I might have saved it or something and then I upload it on my website so that when people go to my website they can literally watch exactly what it's about and then they can click like do they want to um, all things thrive and it has all shop thrive and it has earn and share refer to get free uh, start thriving and then it says like customer promoter under each one of them and then um, request a sample and then just like a form it's like request information right um, and then I have more stuff on my page but you can put set up a site like that like beacons I know is free and I think like milkshakes are free I don't know a lot of websites are free that you can do um, I do pay for it just so I can have my, <laughs> I wanted my own domain. So I do pay for mine, but, um, you know, you can do that anywhere and you can put it on your Facebook, you can put it on your Instagram and it is a nice little thing. Cause I'm also planning to add like a little funnel to it. So like they can kind of click on which one they want and then it'll kind of take them down and no matter what, I'll be able to capture their information so I might offer like a sample for free for certain things, um, depending on how much information they're willing to do, create their you, account. You know what's crazy? Or... I'm going to kind of add and interject a little bit, but I have a Beacons. I use a Beacons, right? Because I have, I have a lot to say, right? Did you just upgrade? No, I've had mine for like since before it was a creator when, when they were in creator mode and all that. So they stuff. just upgraded it. So you have to check that out. I will. Um, <laughs> But I've had mine forever. And before that, I was on Linktree. But I just want to share this because it's so important to share. Twin, Angela, and Tiny, they don't have links like that. They've never had links like that. And they are people who have been able to sign like 30 plus people in a yep. month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like top, like few goats for like generations of our team and everything. They do not have one of those things. I never had one either. Yeah. But I mean, I have one because I like it. Like mm -hmm. I, I definitely like it. Um, and really, I even have my own website, you guys, you guys don't have to have one. I'm sure Amanda probably has one. I know Maria has one, you do whatever you want for your personal brand and your like image and stuff, but you really don't need any of it. Right. Um, but I just, I love saying that because I always go on their pages and they don't have one. I, I do. Right. I have different ones where, cause mine, like I do work two countries. I work the U S and I work Canada. So I have my two different links and, um, cause it's, wonky over here like there's a lot of things but you know honestly it's just a landing page when people are actually going to take action and do things is when you are sending that link out in somebody's dm and tell i send them, them direct actually. links if i know that i'm personally yeah. going to be signing somebody and that is exactly probably what twin and angela and them do i send them directly to where i want them to sign up at right um and i like now, obviously, we can send them directly to that product. But generally, you guys, I just send them directly to the customer sign up or the promoter sign up. And all it is is enroll and register. If you or yeah, enroll and register. Um, so enroll is for customer and register is for promoter, like a backslash to your Lavelle page, right? So you can absolutely just send them directly to one or the other. And in fact, I just typed it out for somebody yesterday because you can also have like a customer sign in page, like, right? Um, which now, when they just go to the Lavelle, the shop Lavelle site, the drop down menu, log in, <laughs> which is so much better. I'm so happy it came out like that. And I know people have had like hit and misses with the new website, but I just want to encourage you guys. They are working on it. 
Okay. There are so many things that they're still working and rolling out and you're going to love it when you figure it out. And if by God, you have not signed up or have not downloaded um, Thrive Connect, I highly encourage you to do so, especially with the shop Thrive, because when you send them a link directly from Thrive Connect, you literally get a note in your notifications when they opened it. And each time they open it, you get a notification. Okay. I didn't realize it was each time until I checked my notifications and I'm going to tell you, hold on. Okay. Um, yeah. So right there. So it literally shows me, hold on. I'm just going to show you right here. Can you see Kim, 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 Kim right in a row? You saw That's like, crazy. okay. It showed me each time she clicked up the link and it was on the detox. Okay. And Kim is my ex-husband's fiance. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, signed, I signed her daughter last month too. <laughs> so yeah so like I listen she was like you know trying to get her groove back so I'm like hey let me help you right so um yeah anyways I'm just telling you this because it's very handy because when they pop up that they're looking at it again that is a great time for you to follow up with them because you're like oh okay like they're checking this out again and every single person that you send a link to you guys it says so and so's looking at this. So and so opened this. So if you did not know that, go look at it, okay? And then send the link. And all you do to send the link from there, I'm just going to show you. Um all you do to send your link from there is just hit on tools, right? Tools and product links and all of your products are there, all right? All of your products are there. Do, do, do. Um, the three steps aren't there, which they need to put that. They need to fix that. Like where you can just like set the, I don't know. It's probably somewhere else. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to use detox. Oops. Detox as an example. You hit the share button and you can, I just hit copy link and then I send it to wherever I'm talking to somebody, but you can share it on social. You can send it to a contact in your phone if you have them or whatever. But like I said, each time they open it, it says in your feed, Hey, so-and-so is looking at it. If you didn't know that, there you go. And that's, like I said, very helpful because people will come back to things when you won't even know it, or you might've quit, like you might've not followed up with them. Um, but that's a great way. Yes, the app is very handy. And if for some reason you have any trouble with the app, send in a support ticket and they will, like for me, when I changed my name and I changed my website and all that, um, they had to reset my stuff for me. So like if by any chance you've changed your website name or you've changed your username, and whatever, um, just send support a message, you guys. They will always, always help you. So one of the big things I know Jackie wanted to talk about tonight was the referral program um, until the 15th and today's the 6th. So you still got nine days to work that. Uh, Jackie, I'm going to shut up for your minute because I've been talking this whole darn Zoom and I'll let you fill this in. I'm going to go and change my shirt. I was like freezing when I got on here. Now I'm burning up. <laughs> yes. So I will explain Thrive Share Refer. And this is a new thing that they're coming out with. I know that when Lavelle rolls out some things like this, sometimes it takes a while for people to get started. Um, it's almost, we still have what, nine days left for this promo that's happening for customers. Um, and I'm sure that if Lavelle sees that it's doing really well and that customers are starting to refer and all that, they'll probably make something like this either come around more often or make it permanent. So I'm going to just share this email so you guys can see it because some of you guys are probably visual. Oops, oops, I made it really big. Hold on one second visual learners, but okay, Thrive Share Refer. So you guys got an email that looks like this. And basically it's just encouraging your, um, and your customers also got this, okay? So your customers got this, um, this email. So a lot of them have it. You guys can even go in and message them and be like, hey, did you get that email about Thrive Share Refer? I don't know if you know, but if you share your link and if somebody, you know, buys Thrive, you guys, you can actually get your Thrive for free. Right now they're doing a promo where you're going to get 25% in credits from whatever they order. So um, do you know anyone, right? 
Um, you might even want to ask them like, how much Thrive do you have left? That's always my favorite thing to ask ask someone because if they're kind of low running low on their stash and let's just say they're a pretty new thriver um you might even encourage them like hey like why don't you sign up your hubby like with you um and get your get your products there right like or does he want to thrive or does your mom want to thrive your friend or whatever right try to get a referral out of them that way they can earn a 25 percent rebate now there's no limit on how many people they can actually sign up for this and they even put a little example there so if somebody were to place an order for 160 right they would get 40 dollars in thrive credits which is huge you guys so if they sign up three people they get 120 dollars in credits right if they sign up four people they'll get 160 dollars in credits um, but besides that, they're also going to get their Thrive for Free credits for like later, right? Um, I know for a fact that a lot of people like, you know, people are not used to getting stuff for free. People are not used to getting like credits or anything like that. And I'm just scrolling. There's there's like it shows you here, like, you know, gives them an idea of how to post. Um, but even just like, you know, what Amanda was saying, she's like, I haven't been on my social media, like, you know, putting out a whole lot of content. It doesn't matter. I mean, of course we want you to post, right? Posting is a free marketing tool, but it really matters what you're actually just saying and talking to people, right? If you guys are just getting into people's inboxes, offering them, you know, these opportunities, they're more likely to, you know, sign up right? Or to, to like, you know, take action because you're actually talking to them, right? They're not just scrolling past you. So um, keep that in mind, you guys. And something with the Thrive for Free, like Thrive for Free is kind of the gateway for somebody to be like, wow, there really is an opportunity here, right? Because people are not used to getting stuff for free, okay? People are not used to earning anything online, right? Most of the world does not earn online, right? Like now it's becoming so popular. That's why we've had these amazing, you know, businesses. I mean, tomorrow is payday, you guys. And if you guys go look at your paychecks tomorrow, if, if you're, even if your paycheck looks like 10 bucks, you earn 10 bucks from online, right? That is crazy. Before I started thriving, I never earned anything online, nothing, not even a dollar, right? Not even a single dollar. So when my first check came, I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I earned you know, it was like one package or whatever. I earned like 30 something dollars online. I had never earned a dollar online before, right? So we have to get out of the, the you know, mindset that nobody wants Thrive or nobody wants this opportunity. Because as soon as they even have some kind of payment, like coming from the Thrive experience, whether that's going to be Thrive credits or whether that's going to be like an actual paycheck, um, they're going to be like, wow, that was crazy. Like, how do I keep on doing that, right? Um, anyway, so start, you know, if you haven't started yet, like definitely like what Amanda was saying, start with your current customers. Um, cause those are the ones who are already loving the products, right? They're already loving the products. You definitely want to help them thrive for free. And, you know, I'm going to go into a couple of tips. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are new, um, but I know that there's a lot of veterans and I know that, you know, after you've been working the business for a while, sometimes you have to start getting creative on how to make more business happen, right? Um, and how to make more business happen, like sometimes we are sleeping on a pot of gold, right? Sometimes we have those people in our cloud office already. Um, like what Amanda was saying, she had somebody that she brought to Thrive Palooza. I know some of you guys just hopped on the call, but Amanda shared some amazing verbiage, very smooth, you guys. She had a lot of posture saying this to this person, right? You know, I know that promoting didn't work out for you like back then, but why don't you come back as a customer, right? I know elite will be your thing. When, when I mean, that's smooth. Like that is definitely smooth. And I want you guys to really think about that. If you guys have customers, right? We're in 2023. If you have customers that haven't ordered in a year, haven't ordered in two years, but they were ordering for a couple months, they likely were in love with the products, right? They, if anybody ordered more than two months and they kept on like ordering, you can probably go back and fish them back to the Thrive experience, right? And ask them, just be like, you know, hey, I know that you were ordering a bunch back then. Like, you know, what, like, what, what's holding you back now? Like, are, do you want to try it again, right? Now we have the elite experience um, and just, you know, offer up a sample. Just be like, I would love to get you back started again. You know, um, you guys might have like their, their old account might be like, um, it, it might be like totally inactive. The you, Whoever was signed them in the past too, maybe they're like gone, right? Like what Amanda was saying, somebody was like, 
you know, she ended up bringing somebody back. So it's, it's that time, like, you know, and if, even if they don't right now, if, even if they say no to you right now in a couple months, they might just be like, okay, I'm ready. Right. But you have to be the one to offer it up. You have to be the one to plant that seed of like, Hey, like, why don't you come back? Right there. If, if you don't, they might just come back with somebody else that, you know, that they saw if you, you got to offer it. Right. So anyways, I just wanted to share that because I'm definitely looking through my cloud right now at 2021 people, um, you know, people who are, who are here in 2021 and I'm going to reach out to them and be like, yeah. Hey, you know, like, what have you been doing? Um, another thing to look at too, is like, let's just say you had an old promoter, right? Like an old promoter who like, you know, they were really supposed to be a customer, right? And then they like, you know, they, they hopped over to the opportunity and then they were like, they just kind of like decided that it wasn't for them. Like kind of what Amanda was saying, right? Go and fish them back, get them to come back. You know, you can even probably have them, um, you know, if, if you can probably have them like cancel their account, right. And come back just mm -hmm. in case they want to run for bonuses again in the future. Um, it's going to be huge. You guys, Lavelle is a different, they're so different now, right? I'm like, so glad you just said that because here's what I want you guys to know. Somebody that was a promoter that loved the product, but maybe kind of fell off as a promoter or whatever, have them come back as a customer until they are ready to run the business. I have like five people right now as customers that were previously promoters that, you know, they hadn't been doing it for years and so forth. Um, and like, obviously they're waiting until the time for them to go in and they're ready to run, right? Because they already know about the VIP bonuses. They already know what's on the table and they already want to promote. It's just not the right timing yet for them. So make sure you have that conversation. What Jackie was just saying, somebody that was maybe a promoter that just, they love the product, but they didn't really want to promote and, you know, they're great for a customer right now. And then they can come back with the VIP bonuses, especially if they've not ordered in six months, a year, two years, three, four, three, four years and so forth. Right. I want to tell you guys, you know how I said I use the beacons, right? Well, one of the reasons why I use beacons is because I use, um, I upload all my emails to it and then I send out a broadcast. So that's, I, I pulled up my iCloud or my cloud office and I literally copied all into a file. Okay. Into an Excel spreadsheet. And then I put it just like name, and email, like that's all I have in there, just those two things. And then I literally uploaded it to like a CSV file into my, my beacons broadcast. And literally, I just want you guys to know this. Somebody opened up their email an hour ago. Somebody opened it up nine hours ago. Somebody opened it up 12, it, it shows me like live footage. Of, Ooh, oh my God. Oh. I, I'm looking at it right now. Cause I have one. Cause yes. I've, I've been I've been using S'more, but I would much rather use something like this because it's uh -uh. way prettier than S'more. Yeah, but do you see where it shows live? It literally shows me six, like six or an hour ago, nine hours ago, 12 hours ago. And I sent these emails out a couple of days ago. Okay, so like, like I said, even though I haven't been posting as much, I've been having more of those one-on-one -on -one conversations, creating these emails, sending them out. And I'll just tell you, my email broadcast was, nothing super fancy. In fact, they have templates that you can use. Um, but I'll just tell you what it was. Um, hold on. Oh, let me get to it. All it, all the email was, was literally, oh, it won't show the whole darn email. But it was just being a customer just got better. And then it basically was our customer thing that we had. Um, I don't know that it will. Mm. Preview. Oh, here you go. All right. I just created an email and I just did. I used the template that like I found on Canva. I put some of our popular products for the fall, the refer program, a little bit about it and when it was till and like a special discount and also a special offer that I'm offering my personal customers if they order during this time period and refer anybody. 
Okay. I just threw like a little extra thing. So everybody's seeing that all 500, 600 something customers of mine. And then I sent it out to my promoters too, that are not active. <laughs> like all my personally enrolled promoters that have not been active. Um, I sent them emails as well because I want them to come back. And I want them to join us and have fun with us and see all the exciting things that are going on. So I did like um, some specials and so forth and just like some what's new type of stuff. It's called Beacons. Um, uh, you go, let's see if you go to like my website, it's B-E-A-C-O-N-S. Um, Very cool. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is. And like I said, it just came out to Beacons 2.0. Like they just upgraded it. So it's not very expensive at all. And I just, it's a tax write-off. So for me, it's definitely worth it. It tracks how many views I, how many hits I have um, on my websites. Like how many people click it, how many people watch my videos, how many people open my emails. It shows me who's opened the emails, when they open the emails. And I can tell you, Yes, it's very, very, very helpful. And it literally, you guys, I cannot tell you, it is an easy, easy, easy one. Like if you were ever going to use a website, this sucker is like super duper easy to put together. Um, there's no guessing. They literally have like the layout for you. And then you just add your links or you add however you want. And mine, I want to change the setup just a little bit, but it's super simple. Um, and I'm not trying to overcomplicate things because I don't want that to be a case. I want you guys to know you absolutely do not have to have anything like that. However, if you are sucky at email marketing, like emailing your customers, following up with your customers, I do highly suggest doing something like this because I literally, all of my customers are uploaded. And I just, when I upload my new customer list, I do it by the date. So I'm not uploading a whole new list. I'm literally saying, okay, like this most recent list was on 1030 of 23. So I know that the only people I need to add to that list the next time are people after that date, right? So people that enrolled after that date, I need to add them now to my customer list is now updated. So I just update my customer list as it grows. And then um, same for promoters. Like I said, I hit a bunch of non-active ones that were active previously before. And then I hit all of my active personally enrolled and kind of built through there. So I'm trying to hit them in categories. And then as soon as Cliff gets it released where we can actually access our personally enrolled customers and um, the people that are enrolled underneath of them, then I will be putting in categories, subcategories, because you can do that. You can like, you have different um, people that you're sending this out to, right? So like, there's going to be obviously different specials in different categories. And it's just like emailing, you know, Jackie something and emailing Angela something and it's being two different things. Like, right. Even though I would most likely email them the same thing. Maybe I want to ask Jackie some specific questions that have nothing to do with Angela or, you know what I mean? Um, and so forth or whatever. It's, it's just, it's just a way to kind of easily email everybody at once because I suck at that and I've always sucked at it and this was the easiest way for me to do it and you literally just hit broadcast and then you send out an email <laughs> and people can actually subscribe and so forth and I've been doing like an updated weekly newsletter um and different things and getting better at it <laughs> just put it that way getting better at it um but I don't want to over complicate things for you guys I just want to tell you Get your follow-up game going strong right now with this this refer program. It's going to pay off come the new year. It's going to pay off come Black Friday deals. It's going to come off anytime you have um, tag team. Now all I have to do is send out that broadcast, right? Um, and I know a lot of people like to use the text, whatever. And yes, you can send messages on Facebook, Instagram, whatever platform you talk to people on. However, I'm still going to message people on those platforms, but I at least I know everybody got an email, right? They may not open it, but as you can see, I sent this days ago and they're still rolling in people checking their email. You know, I guess everybody's not like me and just has like a hundred thousand emails. Cause <laughs> that's what my email list. That's what I look like. I've got like a hundred thousand emails. Uh, of course you do. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and Jackie probably does too. She probably has. <laughs> My, mine are ridiculous. It's, it's, I need I, a whole new phone, but I have I, I, serious hmm. issues with like storage and I'm, I'm a hoarder. I can't me let too. go of anything. <laughs> no, me so too. I had some childhood stuff attached, I think to it. I like, don't want to get rid of anything. So I like have lost everything so many times. So like, I don't know, it's a psychological thing. If I get rid of it, then I'm not going to have it. And then I'm not gonna be able to find it. And that's how I like look for stuff. Okay. I just search, um, my phone for like all Dude. kinds of stuff. Everything, um, has, everything that has a search bar, you guys is like Google everything. Yeah. So just, if you need to find anything, you can even type in a word like if I wanted to see balance photos, like pictures of the bottle balance in my iPhone, I can just go to photos, type in balance, and it'll find anything with the word balance. Like, I don't know if you guys knew that. So that's how I find some stuff like really fast or like treat meal. Everything is like, if you see a search bar, treat that as Google. Like it's really like asking Google um, and it'll find it for you. But oh my God, we had a thrive and mingle here, Amanda, in oh. Vancouver. Okay. And I wanted to share a little bit about it because it'd been a while since we had hosted an event here in Vancouver, like twin. Um, she put it on and we had some of our girls and stuff. There was only a few of us. We didn't make it like super big, but the turnout was actually really good, you guys. And it like it very much like what Amanda's saying, like she's like, I haven't been posting. Like, I think I posted this Thrive and Mingle like two or three times, but like scattered into a bunch of stuff. It does not matter what you're posting, it matters more what you're doing, okay, what you're actually doing in the background, if you're like actually talking to people, um, everyone who participated in this local, they at least brought like one to two people, three people, whoever it was, um, and it's the stories, right, they're going to hear stories from other people, and that's what's going to inspire them to, hey, like, I want to do this, or major skeptics, right, they were a skeptic at one point, they are just going to support you, and then all of a sudden, now they're open, right, so it actually turned out to be a really, really good, um, like, little thrive and mingle, everybody came together, and it's, I encourage you guys to really um, do this, right, it, it's just, like, it's just something that you guys just have to do, you guys have to do it, yes, um, twins said so there's new faces, uh, we even invited some people and then the people ended up knowing each other, right? So it was just like, yeah, we sold all the people who came, but it's not like we were selling our own person, right? It's everyone else selling to your person for you, right? Um, so it was a really good event. Um, I encourage you guys, like it is, we, you know, holidays and stuff are coming up. Um, but I also want to talk about strategizing, okay, for the month of November, because we are more than likely going to get a Black Friday sale, we don't know what the Black Friday sale is going to be, but I want to prep you guys now, um, kind of like what you guys should be working on now, right? We should not be waiting for a sale to work our business. Like we never want to do that, right? Um, basically right now, try to get new people on Thrive, okay? Thr try to get new people on Thrive, service the people that you already have, make sure that nobody is like running out of stock and all those things. But if a BOGO, let's just say a BOGO comes, because that's the one that we absolutely love, right? And that's everyone's favorite sale. But really, BOGO, you guys, I want to retrain your mind and thinking of like, you know, who is BOGO for, right? BOGO is for the people who love their Thrive, like plain and simple, right? They're for the customers who, you know, they've been, they've been thriving and they're like, oh my God, they're obsessed, right? Um, but I want you guys not to just like, and even for us promoters, and like we love waiting for our BOGOs and everything, but I want to train you guys. Okay. So if a BOGO comes, who are you guys going to tag? Okay. Who are you going to tag? For me personally, I will always usually tag a new person or um, like a newer person or just maybe like a customer, like a really solid customer of mine that maybe doesn't have another referral, but I will never go and tag one of my promoters. I'm like, you need to be tagging somebody else. Okay. Like if a promoter, I, you know, only if it's like, you know, I just don't, I just don't tag my promoters. I don't, I'm like, you need to go find somebody, you know, like this is, we, we are in this business together, but like you told me you wanted this, right? So hold your customer or your promoters accountable. Um, and I, I do that, right? I don't jump and tag the first person that comes at me because I know that there's probably going to be like two or three days of this promo. So I will, you know, I'll, I'll get everyone pumped up. If, if a promo like this happens, I'm like, Hey, what are you going to order? Like, what are you planning to order and see like, who's going to have the biggest order? Right. Um, either way, 
you know, no matter who I end up tagging, I know that everyone is going to get taken care of, right? Because I will always make sure that even if I have five people that want to tag me, that I'm going to get their orders in somewhere. Um, but, you know, for, for November, right? Let's just say you guys do have customers who are, um, you know, wanting to like, you know, they're going to take part in whatever sale happens for Black Friday. I want you guys to get your customers to tag somebody else. Okay. Instead of you just tagging one person, like in, you know, if that person comes like, Hey, I need a partner, ask them for a referral. Okay. That's going to grow your business big time. If five people want to tag me, I'm going to tell all those five people, Hey, do you have somebody else? Because, you know, that would be 10 people instead of five people, right? And I can only service one. So I want to, like, you know, think about that, guys. This is the time now. Um, from now, like, until the 15th, we have the Thrive Share Refer, right? And then past the 15th, and that goes away, like, a week later, we'll probably get hit with a Black Friday sale. And, you know... This is the time now to be talking to your customers and really like really building the relationship, right? That way, when Black Friday comes around, you're not just going to pop out of nowhere and be like, hey, we have a Thrive sale, you know, like, hey, it's me again. There's a sale. So now I'm here to talk to you. No, you guys have to talk to people um, throughout the month, right? Throughout the month. So then that way, when you do get into their inbox, they're they expect you, right? They're like, oh, yeah, she's. I was just talking to her yesterday and now there's a sale. Like it's not going to be so far fetched that you're in their inbox, right? It's not going to be salesy. Um, so yeah, anyways, I wanted to share that. Just, so just you know. one, one thing you guys can do too, is that you can like kind of help your customer with a post to come up with for whenever there are sales like that, right? Um, sales where there's BOGO or there's some kind of promotion that you tag someone or whatever you literally can help your customer be like all right how are you feeling right and then you can kind of come up with a post for them for them to put out there with for their friends right and sometimes they're not as comfortable with it but you can say hey you can tag me and you don't have to allow it on your wall so that your wall is not like full of all these posts if you do it on Facebook um, or if they do it on TikTok, Facebook, in Instagram, it doesn't matter, right? They can still tag you so you'll get notification when they have questions. Um, you'll be able to help them with that and kind of guide them through that or even coming up with a story or a reel or anything along those lines, anything that they're willing to put out there. And some of them just want to send a message, right? Some of them just want to send messages to certain friends that they know um, are looking or into detox or need more energy or want to feel like they are actually alive and not drinking 10 cups of coffee. Because what is really pushed this time of the year? When you really sit here and think about it, how many of you guys have seen um, Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts like promos? right now right like coffee 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 everywhere um, I, saw this, I saw this thing going around there's like memes and stuff going around like why are you guys ashamed to like post about your business like um like sheen just emailed me like 10 times today right <laughs> with all like names of like you know fashion nova just emailed me like three times today <laughs> and we're like ashamed to talk about our business <laughs> right, right. And and I'll tell you, that's the thing, you guys, you literally can make some really creative um, lifestyle mixes up, you can do like peppermint mocha, you can do, um, you, of course, you could use the cafe and you could use, you know, do the peppermint mocha. We still have the peppermint. Is peppermint still in there? Or they take it out. I don't even know. I'm sitting here talking about peppermint. We, do. we, have, we have candy okay. cane. Yeah, I haven't ordered it for a very long time. So I'm like, yes, do we? Please tell me we still do because that is like a hot thing this time of the year. Um, and yes, apple pie, pumpkin spice is one of my favorites. It's one of my absolute favorites. Um, but you know what? I Because they took it away, um, I started mixing the vanilla and pumpkin, pumpkin puree and pumpkin pu spice and throwing a little bit of pumpkin sugar-free jello in it <laughs> and blending it up. And it's super delicious. Um, and I think I did that on one of my videos one morning because I was like, oh, this sounds like this time of the year. It was like right at the beginning of fall. And I was like, this is such a good thing. Um, and people love recipes, you guys. They love all kinds of recipes. And you can make... Um, with like our lifestyle mix, you can actually make like protein bars and different stuff. So like people love that kind of stuff that they can easily grab the little, um, you know, power balls or whatever you call them um, with 
it's like peanut butter and um, oats and a little bit of honey. And I think the protein mix, I think is all that's in it really. You can throw some like chocolate chips in or something if you want to, but it's like a little power protein punch, like little, have you ever seen them? Am, am I like talking like foreign language right now? Um, they're little protein balls. They're little bites. Anyways, you can mix our lifestyle mix up for it. And it's a really good recipe. You can find it on Pinterest. Um, I know Tony Stratham posts every year um, on like Facebook. So you can even look up her name and find it. I think Maria's posted some really good ones too, because her daughters are her son's type one diabetic. Um, so it's low carb and it's um, sugar friendly and so forth. Maria always posts a ton of recipes that are low sugar because of her son having diabetes. So just know there's all kinds of stuff out there that you could be putting out. Um, if you guys are crafty people, like I, I'm like, look, I'm like about to go to the dollar store and see if I can like pull my hand at some like crafts, even though that's not my jam. Um, but I'm like seeing all these really cute holiday crafts. Like I saw the Grinch and the snowman. Anyways, guess what those videos are getting? A ton of views and people seeing it. And if you're wearing, I can't even tell you how many videos caught my attention. It was some girl and she is a promoter um, with Lavelle. She was doing a cold water, um, like dunk, right? But guess what I noticed on her arm? Well, I can't reach it right now, but I noticed her, I thought I had it sitting here, but I don't, I just have my capsule. So I saw her HDS and she had a black label on. And I thought that was pretty smart because you know, darn well, people are going to ask what the heck that is. Um, and I went through and sure enough people asked on previous videos what that stuff was. Now the video I watched, she was just doing a cold water plunge and so forth. But like she was just sharing parts of her day and the benefits of it and so forth. Um, but people were asking her because she also has videos of her products as well. Um, so people were asking and people were curious, like, what does that do? Like, what is that sticker you're wearing? Um, and so forth. So just know anything you put out there, if people can see it, they're going to ask they're going to ask. They're going to get curious. And listen, just like Jackie just said, be bold. Listen, you guys, I was just telling Jackie, it's, I can't believe I almost forgot even to bring this up. You guys, we are in a shift in this industry right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. A huge shift in our industry. And it is a darn good thing. Like a very excellent thing. It's an acceptable thing. People are like jumping back into network marketing left and right. I don't know if you guys are seeing it or not, but it's all over my newsfeed. People that left network marketing, people that are missing network marketing because of what it's brought to their table before. Um, people that had stepped away. For, I just told you about my friend that had stepped away for years and years and years um, because it is a very lucrative business. It's something that can literally help provide for families. And when I think back to why I started in 2013, in this industry, I think back to my little girl sitting on my lap right before Christmas time at a friend's house being two and nine years old at the time and how I wanted nothing more to have time with them. And it was like a, one of my weekends I was off and I went to a friend's house and, and anyways, that was my reason why I got started is because I literally just I didn't think it would retire me I just wanted to quit working so many extra hours and I didn't care about my three days a week I was like you know so what and then obviously fast forward you know 15 months after starting I was able to leave my full time and go like casual and I don't ever encourage somebody to do that um, necessarily because it does change the dynamic of your business um, you know obviously if that's what you're wanting then hey go for it right um, but for me, it changed the dynamic of my business of where I really loved and loved and loved to where it became a strain almost at first um, that I prematurely left my first company. Like I prematurely left my job early at my first company because that's kind of what they taught. And then I did the same thing with my ex-husband, um, which is probably why I'm divorced. <laughs> but, but all seriousness aside, um, it was one of those things that you know, I will tell you, there are a lot of people that need to buy groceries that are struggling for Christmas. I'm seeing it on TikTok left and right. People that are doing like Amazon wish list, 
Um, it's a very, like, even Black Friday ads, people are like, it's going to be slim pickings this year, you know? Brenda, I have a, I have a question, because you've been yeah. in network marketing how long? 11 or 12 years? It'll be 11 years this year. So this this year and like the just I, I this guess is similar to 2016. Okay, I was just gonna ask that. Like, what what does this feel like to you? Because I wasn't uh, around in 2016. Yep. Nope. Um, it feels like 2013 and 2016. Okay, so now what's weird about those years? 2016 was an election year. 2013 um was not. But 2013 was my first year, my first company, and I was just getting started, okay? Um, they went through a transition in the company at that time where they were updating their websites and like our websites were down for like two weeks and we had to do like paper, um, like orders and stuff. And it, it was more of a party planning thing back then um, that you had every so many days you were like setting up events and so forth at people's houses. Um and like we had a party plan that literally that we would like share. Yeah, I see Julia. She's like, yeah, <laughs> you remember um, like a presentation. Right. Um, but I can tell you this is more like 2016 right now. Um, and 2016, I can tell you this. 2017 is when I went to an RK in nine weeks. OK. And I'm telling you, industry wide, it was like that. And it was very much where we saw a lot of people jump into different companies, kind of like what 2022, how that was, right? And a lot of people are like, oh, let's jump out of MLM and let's do this and let's go into coaching and let's do da 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 da. People get burnt out. Okay. People get burnt out. That's all there is to it. When you lose your passion, you're going to look left and right. You're going to see what else is over here, right? And that's why it's super duper important to realize that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you need to be passionate and love the products that you're sharing, love why you're doing it, know why you want to help somebody, know what you're truly helping them with. And one of the best things to always remind somebody if you are at all struggling is don't take your thrive for a couple of days. You're going to remember real quick why you freaking thrive. All right. You will remember real quick why you thrive. Yes, you could do detox, but just don't take your thrive for a couple of days. And I promise you, your butt is going to remember because the day one that you take it again, you're going to be like, well, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I am not doing that again. And right now is a time period of 2016 exactly is what it reminds me of. It's a time when the industry took a huge hit um, we saw a lot of industry wise, not just the company I was with. It was literally like, even when I go back on Lavelle's 200 K page. Okay. And I look at their page and I wasn't on it because I wasn't part of Lavelle at this time of the year of 2016. But when I search like the 200 K page, um, Maria's 200 K page for ideas, promos, stuff like that, that they've done before. I see stuff from 2016, 2015, like from all the years that they've been part of the company. And 2016 was very much a time period where they're like, okay, guys, like you've got to kind of like get back to the basics. And isn't that funny how we always get back to that, get back to the basics, because it's true. We get so distracted. And that's why I even share at the very beginning of this video tonight, my friend, who had stepped away from network marketing that just jumped back in. You guys, she is exploding in this company. It has nothing to do with the fact of her just, it's, it's because her excitement. It's because she is posting about it. It's because she is talking about it. You have lots of things that you could talk about, not just the Thrive experience. Um, and in fact, I have four samples of uh, Cranberry Plus going out right? Four samples at Cranberry Plus going out. Like in the next couple of days, I have addresses I need to write down for my messenger. Um, but so I need to, I need to order some more because I'm like, okay, well, you know, and like I told you guys, I sent out that email, that email specifically stresses products that are this time of the year specific. Besides the three steps, I included Cran Plus, I included Deep Talks, I included um, I think rebuild and treat meal as being like popular 
this time of the year. In my next email, I'll like switch it up a little bit, um, but it'll always include the three steps, right? Um, but because this is the most up to, you know, par thing or up to date thing, that's what I added. But no, this year really does feel like 2016. And that's why I'm super excited right now. And probably why I'm really red, because when I get, when I get talking about, I was telling Tim, I said, I am excited for 2024 because what I am seeing happening right now is a huge shift in mindset and a huge shift in, in what's happening industry wise. And it's a welcoming to bring people back into the industry and it's across the board. Yes, there's going to be new companies popping up all the time. Um, but it's also, you guys, mm, wake up. I hope you've seen how many people have returned to Lavelle in the past, like literally week. Okay. Like last week, last month, last couple months, it's been absolutely ludicrous. So if you aren't talking, if you aren't letting them know you're in business, they're going to go sign with somebody else. It, it is crazy. Um, so we have a lot. And Jason is very, very smart about the way he does things. Um, and I really feel like corporate is on the ball and they're they're really up to date with what's going on and what people we, want. We're actually, yes, we're a young company, but being 10 years in, a, in the business and like having what we have is freaking, it's amazing, right? It, it doesn't, it, you can't compare that to a brand new company that's coming out that has not had their feet in the industry like you know so no and Lavelle has produced more millionaires and more top leaders than most companies and I think we hit um a billion in sales I, I think it was even before like Amazon hit a billion in sales like I mean faster like isn't that crazy to even think about so, you know what got me about just like how amazing our company is like I think I had been in the business maybe like two and a half or three years and I just remember there was a company that is very popular. It's stuff that you use for your hair, right? And they were boasting about how many like auto bonus earners they had. And I had just about the same amount on my team alone for a whole damn company mm -hmm. for a little, little me, you know, so like funny I enough, that company <laughs> launched the year that I left my business and I joined Lavelle. Um, because a sideline of mine is a top leader there. And her and I were like in this little group chat prior to like she I didn't even know she was like going that direction. She didn't know I was going this direction. Um, it's just like multiple of us went different directions at that point. Right. But we all supported one another. In fact, I was one of their first customers. I was one of her first customers um, as a supportive friend. Right. Um, with that company. And the, you know, that's what I, I really want you guys to understand is that one, we can get our products for free. Our customers can get our products for free. We have a lot of auto bonus earners and they do not have to purchase a vehicle. They absolutely can just take the 300 and run with it. They can get the 800. Yes. They can get the 1600 at 40 K. Um, you know, when you have your two person enrolled and then, you know, you, I mean, obviously you have to have the auto elite, which, I'm finding now that I'm being super intentional with my follow-up, I hit those numbers every month. So I'm like, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> I mean, I've hit those numbers. Okay. I take that back. I've hit it almost every month. Um, I had 10 last month though. So oh I was like, God. But that, I'm proud of myself for that being 10 auto ship customers. Like, that's really good, right? Um, so, you know, that's not counting just, like, whatever orders. So, and I'm proud. One, one more thing. I got to go grab the kids because they're at Chinese No, school. you're fine. I, I, I got to go to bed. <laughs> but there's one, one more thing. Okay, so Twin and I, when we did our local, I invited this guy. And he was with another company. He's at a ground floor opportunity because it just opened here in Canada, right? An established company. Um, this guy came to me and I told him like, yeah, I, I've heard of your company. They're not so new. Um, I had an upline that had left to that company and it was probably the biggest mistake she ever made because that was when I was just baby 12 K and like, she never got to see our team do the $30 million in sales. Right. Uh, anyways, you know what company I'm talking about, but when he heard our presentation, he heard about the auto bonus and he immediately kind of dropped everything that he was doing. He's like, we don't have one of those. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, how much did you do in sales last month? Because it was his first month in business over there. And he was just curious about like what I had to offer. 
And, you know, when he told me, he's like, we did, I did 16,000 in sales last month. I'm like, you would have had your car over here already. Right. Yeah. And, and people can easily see, I mean, somebody who's in a business over there and then they come and see what we have over here. We don't have to do that much selling for our compensation plan because what, what they offer for the newest people coming in, not even at the top, you guys, we have an inverted, okay. Our pyramid is upside down. Okay. Like it, it is, we have an inverted compensation plan where the person who is doing the work, they're the one that makes the most on that sale. Right. Um, out of that order. So, you know, he was just like, oh my God, like, you know, what, what am I doing at this company over here? Why do I want to be at a brand new company when you guys have all the, you guys are established, you guys have something and the, my people don't know about it. Right. So, you know, they're good at sales. Who is? <laughs> their VP of sales. Oh yeah. Yeah. I absolutely. had him on a zoom. Actually, that's why they got in so much trouble because they tried to bribe me and I turned it over to Lavelle and Lavelle sued the shit out of him. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. Hey, that's what happens whenever like multiple of our leaders were like lured over there for no stupid reason. And, and they were like trying to fly me out and I was like, or whatever, I'll get on a Zoom. And I recorded the whole thing with um, <clears throat> Lisa and um, Jamie literally sitting right here on my lap. And then I sent it to Drew. So, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, uh, you guys, and that's another thing too. That's parts of the industry. I don't want any of you guys to know because there's dirty parts of it and it's gross and it really shows you the other side. Um, and that is one thing I am proud of. Lavelle has never paid anybody to come here um, because our compensation will do it itself. All right. Like the compensation plan will do it itself. Um, and that is a very, very huge thing. The fact that people can get their auto ships paid for by their customer sales, the fact that they don't have to run an auto ship. I There's months I don't order product. They might go months without ordering product because I don't need any um, because I have plenty. OK, and I'm very proud that I'm still commission qualified because of my customers um, and I still get customer credits and I'm still able to share those and so forth with my team and with with customers. Right. Um, and that is unheard of in most companies for you to just be able to qualify with the customer sales. So um, anyways, customers thrive for free. Promoters can thrive for free. You can run your business completely for free. Your customers can, you know, like I said, thrive for free. Auto bonuses, all those things. Um, weekly paychecks that can literally buy groceries, gas, the extras that people need, tires, whatever it might be, Christmas presents. Um, I promise you guys, literally share this stuff. And that is going to be what helps people right now. Um, how you're feeling every morning whenever you start making your thrive. Um, you guys know, I always, always, always tell you, I fill my, my table up. Um on Mondays, right before I go to bed and refill, I had one pack left. Um, so I'm about to restock it and hit the bed, right? So I will get this Zoom up um, ASAP. Probably not till morning though, because you guys, like I said, this time they just beat my butt. <laughs> and I'm getting old now. Um, but no, seriously, um, I love you all. Jackie, is there anything else you have that you want to say? Mm -hmm. uh, no, she's got to go get her kids. All right. Yep. Go, 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 go. You're good. All right. Bye guys. I'll get this uploaded soon. Promise. Have a good night.